Significant gas fields have been discovered in the Mediterranean Sea. Lebanon's prospects are in waters disputed with Israel. Away from the media, the longtime enemies are back negotiating at a United Nations base along the border. Indirect U.S.-mediated talks were called off weeks after they began in October. It doesn't start from Ras al-Naura. Lebanon was accused of pushing for 1,430 square kilometers on top of the already disputed 860 square kilometers registered with the UN, a position that brought an Israeli gas field into disputed territory. Karish is an Israeli field that is going to start production by 2022. So the idea was like we claim the maximum we can get through line 29. We put Karish in danger. And that will bring the Israelis to negotiate a deal that is good for Lebanon. Line 23 is but Lori Haitayan, like others, believe Lebanese authorities didn't formalize the new claim because the dispute is a card in negotiations with the United States. When Lebanon agreed to talks for the first time in three decades, the Trump administration was imposing and threatening sanctions on politicians with ties with the Iranian-backed Hezbollah. Those politicians are now hoping for better relations with the Biden administration, or at the least, the de-escalation of tensions. The resumption of talks was announced days after David Hale's visit to Lebanon in April. The Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs was the first official in the new administration to come here. On the eve of the visit, Lebanon's President Michel Aoun, an ally of Hezbollah, put off signing a decree expanding the maritime claims because he said it would end negotiations, but few expect an early breakthrough. I don't see any of those two ready to, to compromise. I don't see the Lebanese politics basically is uh, conducive now to such important co compromise when you have uh, local tensions and no government. So I don't see this is uh, uh, conducive for this. And third, the, the U.S.-Iran tension and the Israeli-Iran tension also will not help. I don't see Iran giving, uh, uh, through Hezbollah and Lebanon, a free gift. And a deal would encourage international companies to invest, which would help Lebanon's crippling debt. But the decision to engage in talks appears motivated by political considerations and maneuvering, not just economics. Zena Khadr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.